night. Hi. We've got it uh, at sundown, and we see the water is really, really calm. The tide is very slowly starting to go out, but we're pretty much at a high tide. Beautiful evening here. Okay, but we've got one main problem over here is this uh, water hyacinth. So what we're going to do, we also have a few, I can see we got a few bottles. For, these are what we want to get first is get these these guys out of here right so that's bad 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 news plastics oh here's a glove I found a floating glove okay so we'll get stuff like that out but I also Whitney wants to play and participate I mean I got a bucket uh, an old plaster bucket and I'm gonna just simply grab the hyacinth and throw it into the bucket and try to get the water off of it a little bit. But this stuff is like rich in nitrogen and it'll make great composting material. So what we're trying to do is we don't really like the hyacinth in the water, but we like it in the compost pile. So we can you can push it in there, smash it down, get pop the air bubbles that are in the plant. trying to get together our little collection not too big today we've got just a few things so we're we, we had pulled out many many things just a couple weeks ago today not so bad around cut, here clip, cut turn off okay so here we are we've got the water hyacinth in the buckets here we have the compost here this is from the San Joaquin River nitrogen rich San Joaquin River right with a lot of fertilizer runoff makes beautiful water hyacinth which is excellent for the compost pile first I've, I've got my leaves already piled up here and I have all my kitchen greens and everything in here already so I'm just gonna make up a little space here and take this stuff and just get it in there one way or another I try to pop all the balloons that I can and get this stuff to layer in it will heat up hit the heat this pile up unbelievable what this stuff can do now so we go ahead and just basically mound this on there and then what I'm gonna do is take some wood chips and stuff that I had from grinding never let your never let the guy take away the, the ground up wood chips try to get that saved and you can use lawn clippings too if you want that'll heat it up even faster and we just go ahead and put that in there like that and then take the next bucket put it on top of that and popping all the little balloons that we can and we are going to make ourselves a super hot little pile that when it's done we'll have compost it's the best soil there's worms in this I put all my fish bait leftover worms from the fish bait in here everybody the little uh, roly-poly bugs everybody are all climbing around in there uh, scavenging and trying to get whatever they can out of this water extra water is fine for the pile and then you just get it all in there pile it down take whatever you can it's organic. Throw it on top of there. 
and get that thing going. Sometimes the worms are down the bottom in the ground, right? So try to get them, get them rolling. Get a little bit more of this stuff. And then tomorrow, Linda will probably have something out of the kitchen greens that she can add to this and the pile will continue to grow. And there you have it. 